A live demo of Retinalize, and to begin with, it's a web-based system, so you simply log in through a browser to your own account. If you're a store, you have one account. If you are a satellite clinic, you have one account. Um, and uh, the way it works is that you transfer the images uh, from your retinal camera or your OCT device. That can happen manually, or we can make a device integration quite easily. We support an array of uh, cameras and devices. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the normal devices that you have on the market, we support, yeah. actually. And keep updating all the time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, this is the screen that you see when you log into the system. This is uh, the consultation screen where you see all the patients that uh, have visited you today. Um, you'll be able to see their name, the client ID, the date that they visited, and an aggregated status for them. So the red result, of course, says mm. here is something that you should act on. Um, you're able to sort them by using the filters in the top uh, to see if there is anything uh, you've sent uh, to the telemedicine solution that you've got a reply back on, if there's something you haven't analyzed yet, and so on. So it's easy to, to find, filter, search, uh, and find the, the necessary consultation. So if we go ahead and open one, hmm. uh, what you'll see are, of course, the, the two latest images, in this case retinal images, uh, being displayed where you can see that there are both overlays on uh, the, the images explaining what the AI thought was a pathology or a biomarker for some sort of eye disease and also an aggregated result in the bottom where we show a red, yellow and green result. And these are of course uh, ways to um, have a sense of urgency if it's a, if it's a case that you need mm. to refer, mm. uh, that an eye specialist needs to uh, diagnose and, and treat, of course, uh, and yellow means that there is something that you need to be, you, you need to be alert, you need to ask more questions, um, have a deeper anamnesis, maybe perform some extra tests, mm. and green means this patient or this person can come back um, in the regular screening interval, basically. Uh, moving on, if you uh, know a bit about eye diseases, which I guess a couple of you guys do, uh, you'll know that eye diseases often develop over time, especially those that are uh, not easy to detect. So for those diseases, we have a feature of comparing images, uh, uh, historical images or the left and right eye to see if there are bilateral uh, diseases, for instance. So we can see the history uh, of all the, the consultations that this patient has had, and we're able to compare those images. We're also able to send it uh, to send a consultation to the telemedicine solution if we want to get some answers um, regarding some doubts we have or if we want to know how quickly should this patient actually visit uh, the local ophthalmologist for treatment. We're also able to download the images if we want that or print a PDF report with the results. So uh, for glaucoma specialists, for clinics, uh, for ophthalmologists or really nerdy optometrists, those exist as well, I've mm, heard. They do. Um, they can actually go ahead with our uh, advanced system for glaucoma, which is uh, a gl uh, glaucoma progression AI. So what we can do with that is uh, not just detecting if uh, this patient has uh, glaucoma or not, but actually zooming out instead of comparing the patient to uh, the statistical normalcy, meaning how a normal person would statistically, st statistically look, we can compare that person and that consultation with a historic consultation. So what you see on this graph right here is actually all the consultations uh, from this patient on the left and the right eye, and we can see a downwards tendency. On the left, you see that it goes down to the red area. On the right, you see that it doesn't actually go down to the red area, providing a red result but it is a downward tendency. So this patient should have even uh, a few, I mean, a, a shorter screening intervals to detect the disease, to treat at the best time for this patient. And as you can see, there's uh, a lot of data that can be extracted if you want to. And that could be if, you're, uh, if you are the specialist, of course, mm -hmm. that could yeah. be in the retail store, it could be if you're a, a retinal specialist examining the cases that were highlighted. But if you want to just refer or not refer, you want a simple to understand result, you can use the system for that as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
And finally, for OCT, we're doing the same thing as for retinal images. Uh, but as you know, an OCT scan consists of a lot of individual scans. And what we're doing in this case is actually saving you time by highlighting the scans that are necessary to uh, refer or at least investigate f further. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what you're seeing here is I'm selecting uh, the different filters to show you, uh, especially the red uh, signs of, in this case, uh, interretinal fluid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all in all, this system, the retinalized system, is ticking all the boxes from compliance to performance. So we're compliant with GDPR in Europe, of course, uh, we are compliant with CEMDR and the new European AI Act, uh, all that we know about it, at, at least. Uh, we're also compliant with national referral guidelines by actually cooperating with local mm. ophthalmologists. And by using the system, what you're doing is lowering the risk of referring erroneous results. So you're not forwarding too many false positives to the local ophthalmologist. Um, you can get started offering these health services quickly because we have already onboarded. And, and what, what does quickly mean? Because quick can be many things. Uh, quickly, of course, is six months time, I would say. Uh, because especially if you're a large uh, uh, optometric retailer, you have a lot of employees to educate. Mm -hmm. uh, you have some decisions to make regarding what cameras you want to use and so on. But from our side, if you're a single uh, clinic or a, a store with a camera, we can get started in a week. So it's, it's really, really quick to, mm. to get started. Yeah. Um, and by using the system, you're also providing this homogenous eye health experience, especially for clinics and, and uh, uh, retailers in chains, uh, because you're providing the same service, basically, using the AI and the telemedicine. And, and another f point to that is that the system, in its essence, is uh, quite uh, intuitive. By all the users we've seen for yeah for 11 years now, the, the intuitiveness of the system actually helps maintain a high level of quality in delivery towards the patient and, and customers. Exactly, exactly. Um, the system gives you the opportunity for efficient operation mm -hmm. by moving these rather simple refer or non-refer tasks mm -hmm. to other personnel than the specialist. Um, and 96%, 95% of customers get this result in one minute. So if you're an uh, optometry retailer, that means more time for sales, which, uh, which is a, an argument that you can't really deny in this case. Um, but if you're a clinic or a hospital, mm -hmm. we're actually saving the, the um, retinal specialist 60% uh, of their time that can go towards treatment instead. So... Um, Quite a lot of opportunity for efficiency here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and before you ask, mm -hmm. um, of, we are often asked a couple of questions yeah. regarding retinal eyes. Um, so I've tried to gather some, some answers for you. Uh, so what's the onboarding like? Uh, if you are a single store, mm -hmm. we actually offer uh, online video conference training and remote installation of the retinal eyes software. Uh, but if you're representing a chain of stores, we can tailor make the onboarding with some workshops or whatever you need uh, to suit your needs. And in this, in the first case, a single store, single clinic, it's a matter of days. And if you are a big uh, national or, or, or covering several markets, chain of stores or a group of hospitals, um, it's a bigger project um, as uh, Ganesh uh, um, said uh, earlier on. Yeah. Um, and for modalities, we work with both retinal cameras and OCT devices. We support uh, all the top brands uh, out there. Uh, but you can see the full list on our website. And if you're watching this video, which I guess you are, uh, you won't be able to click the links. So I'll be sure to provide them in the, uh, in the description. Yeah. Yeah. For data security and privacy, uh, we've tried to gather some answers to, to that as well. It is an important topic for us. Uh, we try to be as secure as possible with encryption everywhere. Uh, but we also, of course, um, uh, control, uh, you control the data, the, the client controls the data. Um, so we try to gather the answers here on our website as well. And, and, and furthermore, it's a field where the questions and the answers are evolving. Um, for instance, with the AI Act. So, so we are constantly updating answers about data security and privacy to stay uh, 
ahead of the game. On top of that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All the research that has been done on retinolize, uh, on the uh, diabetic uh, retinopathy screening algorithm, the AMD mm. algorithm, uh, and the glaucoma algorithm, as well as OTT, is available on our website, uh, retinolize.com slash research. And what do you then need to get started? Uh, actually, you just need a retinal camera or an OCT device, of course, a PC and an internet connection. That's all you need. And if you can't wait to get in touch with us, you can actually read the Get Started Guide mm, on yeah. uh, our website. And if you're interested in getting started, uh, both as a client or as a distributor, we can offer you a 30-day free trial just for you to, to get to know the system. Yeah. Yeah. So just to sum things up and make ourselves available, if you need anything more, I've got other kinds of questions, then uh, just uh, uh, listed in the FAQ, then uh, don't hesitate, uh, get in touch with us. Uh, of course, we want our retinalized system to be completely global and doing all the good things it can do for humans all over the world. Um, join us uh, on our path, on our mission, reach out and um, Let's talk. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.